Welcome to Seed Seller TV. I'm Rod Ostis. Thank you for coming back to talk about the 1,000 variables that affect the performance of every crop every year. Last time we talked about the fact that it was not your responsibility as a seed seller for the performance of the crop on a farmer's farm every year. It's your customer's responsibility on how that product performs, how your varieties perform on his farm. But I'm not going to leave you out there hanging and say, well, how do we control these variables? We can't live on hope. Too many farmers and too many seed sellers like to live on hope. I hope the weather is good. I hope things, conditions turn good so everything works out right. No, we can't live on hope in this business. We have to take control of everything we can control, and we can control the damage these 1,000 variables do to our crop every year. So what we're going to do is to start out with what our real goal is. Our real goal is to minimize the damage from the 1,000 variables. That's our goal. Minimize the damage to the 1,000 variables, the weather combined with management and all those things can do to our crop each year. Now if I was to ask the average farmer what is the number one factor to producing a top crop, he would say variety. If I was to ask almost every seed seller out there what is the number one factor producing a top crop, they would all say variety. No. N-O. No. That's not it. You give me any germplasm, genetic background, variety you want to. I don't care how old it is, how obsolete it is. You give it to me in the maturity range that I can use. And I will beat your variety every single year by minimizing the damage these 1,000 variables will cause. I can beat you every year with this strategy. That's how important this concept is to what we do. I'm going to talk about the top five factors to producing a top crop. The top five. And then in later segments, I'm going to take each one of those top five and break them down in more detail for you at that time. The number one factor to producing a top crop is soil conditions at planting. When I say this to a farmer, he'll agree with you that it's a pretty important factor, but he violates it every year. This is the one that virtually every farmer violates every single year. Does not take time or allow time for those soil conditions to become near perfect before he plants. Always pushing the envelope. But most of the yields determined when he plants, that's why this factor is so important. Number two factor producing a top crop is seed placement. Can you have good seed placement without good soil conditions? No. So right away, if we don't have number one, we can't have optimum and number two. Seed placement is all about depth, seed to soil contact, sidewall compaction, speed, all the kind of things we do with the planter at that time delegates seed placement. It's critical to the rest of the development of the plant. Number three factor producing a top crop, seed quality. This is where the seed company helps out the farmer by bringing him seed quality that's exceptional. Seed quality is more important than genetics. Far more important than genetics. You give me an average genetic package with a superior seed quality and I will beat your superior genetic package with average seed quality every single time. But what good is top seed quality if it's not placed in the soil properly and you have poor soil conditions? Number four factor producing a top crop, right variety in the right field. And how many seed sellers spend any time at all with their growers telling them where to plant it, how to manage it in this particular environment, in the right field? 75% of all varieties never yield to the potential because they're planted on the wrong piece of ground. So this is why we take time, nine months ahead of time, to help recommend where we're going to put things when spring finally rolls around. And the number five factor to produce a top crop is post-planting management. What happens after the crop is planted? And this is critical this year because crops in all kinds of stages throughout the country what are we doing now on a daily basis to monitor that crop and nurture it to maximum yield in the fall? Remember our goal with these five factors is to minimize the damage from the thousand variables. And later on in other segments, we'll show you how each one of these five affects 200 variables, adding up to more than a thousand. Thanks for watching Seed Seller TV. I'm Rod Ostis. See you next time. This episode of Seed Seller Training TV is brought to you by the R.C. Thomas Company, the number one seed sales training firm in North America.